Hi everybody, welcome back for another Tip Tuesday. Today is gonna be about your toes, your jingle toes. So feet are really important as I know you've heard me mention before, but it's really important to work on your toes. So either you have a toe corrector, which I love, or if you don't have a toe corrector, the rubber brand from Broccoli that you get at the grocery store works really well too. So if you go to the grocery store this week and you find these on the broccoli, pick up some broccoli and get yourself some rubber bands when you get home, right? So eat your broccoli, get, make your own toe corrector. So either way, you can do these exercises. And if you have neither, you can still do the movement of the exercise without the toe corrector. The toe corrector gives you really nice feedback and it really does work the muscles in the foot. So what you're gonna do, toe corrector or rubber band, is you're gonna put it right over your big toe on the toenail side of the toe. You don't wanna be down low in the crease, you wanna be up here. And the toe corrector is obviously bigger than the rubber band, so you're gonna open out so that it's engaged, but the ring is not, or the ring, the spring is not pulled super tight. And then you're gonna sit up nice and tall, and I'm just gonna go over the wave exercise because it's one that's great to do traveling, horse shows, even on the beach. It's a really nice one to do. So you're going to flex your feet and you're going to spread your toes. And the spreading of the toes is going to start to engage the spring and that's about as much as you really need to engage it. So it's not about really overly stretching the spring, right? It's about the movement. So I'm going to start, my feet are flexed, my toes are flexed, and I'm really trying to create length through my foot. And then I'm going to come forward with my foot, but I'm still flexing my toes back. And then I'm going to reach my toes down and pick up an imaginary towel. I'm going to flex my foot back and then my toes. So it's foot, toes, foot, toes, right? Foot, reach down with those toes, really point, pull the foot back and flex your toes. So you can do five to eight to start and work your way up to 10. And it's a very deliberate lengthen, flexion, and reach. And then you're gonna reverse it. So you're gonna start with the toes. Toes curl, reach forward. Toes pull back first, and then your foot pulls back. So toes, forward, back, and up. When you do this, you're gonna notice that the toe corrector rotates. So you're just kind of curling your foot and you're gonna flip this lovely diamond shape around. You can think of it that way too. Obviously not with a rubber band, but toe corrector will let you do it. You're gonna have one foot that feels good to do this on probably, and one foot that maybe feels a little drunk trying to get it done. That's okay. You're just working towards this. It's a great exercise. Once you take your toe corrector off, right? You're going to feel a lot more blood flow in your feet. It's going to feel really nice. But what's so great about it is it keeps your feet really open so that when you put your boots on, when you go to ride, you still can stay connected to your feet and therefore stay connected to your stirrup. A lot of times when we ride, we're so worried about our leg and our seat. We forget the feet are a real vital point. So don't forget to do your toe corrector exercises. Try it for a week and see how much better your connection with your stirrup and therefore your hips is going to get in the saddle. I hope you enjoyed this tip and I will see you next week. Have a wonderful week with your toe correctors.